the first time I've had to the boy. To the boy. Ostracized mission. I should try to stay out of sight. You must be the one Pericles sent. I am. He said there is an ostracism vote, but he didn't tell me what I'm here to do. Of course he didn't. That's what I'm for. If someone is exiled, can they return? If they do, they'll be punished. What does someone have to do to be ostracized? Anyone seen as a threat to the city or the people is enough. And then it is up to the vote. Some have been ostracized for simply being more disliked than the person they're up against. What's my role in this? The votes have already been cast. We don't have long before they're counted. Take the Ostraki in this bag and exchange them with the ones currently under guard. You want me to rig the ostracism? Pericles does. And he has his reasons, I'm sure. Bring me the bag you took from the room and I'll take care of the rest. No one will see me go in or out. Stay here. Goods from all over the Greek world. You wouldn't very think the city was besieged by an army of Spartans. Very much demoralized, thank you, Patrick. First duty in Athens, I think, maybe. Something's not right over there. 
I swear there was something. Oh no. I should do it. I should let Pericles' contact know. I might as well swim by the Royal Mint in order to celebrate having one less mercenary on my back. Oh, I stole... I didn't, I didn't even need to murder you. I just laid low.
Very nice. I love the little royal mint. Very nice. What would you like? Ask for anything you need. I still need more wood. God dang. I spent it on fire, please. Why not? You catch the latest gossip? Would it be except to guard the shipment of spearheads? It's dark. Hmm. You work quickly. What are you going to do with them? Dump them in a well. Ah, it looks like the official has arrived. The votes have been tallied. Overwhelmingly, the people have decided that Anaxagoras should be ostracized from Athens! Be slow to fall into friendship, but once you do, continue firm and constant. It will be more difficult for me now that Anaxagoras must leave Athens. We were quite close, although he and Pericles were much closer. It's strange, Pericles wasn't here today to defend him. Would Pericles normally defend someone? A good friend? Of course. Yeah. Yet, Anaxagoras seems pleased with the result. This day has brought more questions than answers. You said you were close. He was like a mentor to me. Many of my best thoughts came to fruition through our conversations. Who are you? Ask anyone and they'll tell you Socrates. But a name gives you nothing. Our actions determine who we are, and every action has its pleasures and its price. With that said, then, who do you claim to be? My name is Alexios. And still, I don't feel I know you. Perhaps I can find out who you are a different way. You want to know me? Knowledge is the one good in this world. Surely you agree? Of course. Knowledge drives everything I do. Then we are the same in that way. Knowledge of when to attack what weapon to use, or when to use reason instead of violence. We seem to put our love of knowledge into practice quite differently. I use it how I need to. 
You are clearly someone who would do whatever you feel is necessary. Perhaps for Drachmi, or maybe to further a personal goal. That describes a lot of people. I suppose I'm curious why you did it. How could I not be when you're the reason my friend is being forced to leave the only home he's ever known? I did what I was asked to do. And your needs are greater than those of the man you helped ostracize. Still, you raise a fine point. Who is more responsible? Anaxagoras for getting himself mixed up in this, or you for simply sealing his fate? Fine, I'm more responsible, but I did it because I have one concern, myself. Then I hope you also think about today, about Anaxagoras, about choice. Socrates, there you are. Here I am. You're late. They're all waiting for you. I wish to see Anaxagoras' fate, and so I have. Tell them I'm on my way. Well, it seemed our conversation is at its end. Although I hope it isn't the final one we have. I wouldn't know. To tier five, Patrick, I'm ready for tier five. Finally.
Sorry about that. How did you get past the guard? No one gets past the guard. Relax. Pericles sent me. Ah, praise Athena. I knew he'd send help. I was worried they sent someone after me. He sent me to get you out of Athens. So he knows about the plot. You mean the trial? From what I've seen, you don't stand a chance. Ah, the people love me. I am the Phidias. But there are others. Look. Malaka. It isn't a trial Pericles is saving you from. These are instructions to murder you. Who wrote this? I don't know who to trust. I'm just an artist. I just wanted to create. Please, what am I to do? First, you need to pull yourself together. You're on trial. The people are against you. And now I find that the cult want to kill you. Uh... I said pull yourself together. Yes, of course. Cleon said you're wasting the people's like me. If he had his way, he'd serve them your head. Cleon mentioned me? That's going to hurt Pericles. First impiety, now theft. After all we've done for this city. You and Pericles seem close. For Pericles and me, it started with our love of Athens. Our differences push us to greatness. That is true friendship. All right, we need to go. Do you have any idea where I can take you? South of Athens, there's an island called Seriphos. My friend Theras lives there. When I discovered the plot against me, I sent word to him. If anyone can help us, he can. Good. Any clues he has of the cultist identities, I want them. Yes, yes, anything. A guard! I'll distract them while you sneak out. Meet me tonight to set sail for Seriphos. Don't show your face until you see me at the docks. I understand. You didn't think you could attack one of us and get away with it, did you? Come on and fight! <laughs> I'll kill them or die trying. Statues are incredible. The sculptors truly are masters of their craft.
I meditate, maybe Phidias will be here when I'm done. Good. You made it. I was beginning to worry. I told you I'd get you out of Athens. So you did. Can your friend be trusted? Theras and I have been friends for a long time. I just sent word telling him where to meet us. Wasting time will only get us into trouble. Let's head to Serifos while we still can. Traveling the seas very often. It can be free. Yes, freeing seems to be an accurate word. Although I've begun to feel a bit sick. Lean over the side if you need to. 
Where are we going? Where are the Why is your cleaning it up? We're at full speed! Slow down! Commander leaving the helm! turning as much as mine is. You'll get used to it. We'll reach Seripos before long. It's good to see you alive and well, Thyrias. And you, Thyrias. As you can see, I didn't get here alone. Ah, yes. The kind and thoughtful hero you mentioned in your letter. I'm glad I could get him out alive. And for that heroism, I found some information on a man named Brisson who's plotting Thyrias' early demise. Hopefully you can make something of this clue. I can. Please give Pericles my thanks and my farewell. And be careful. I still believe many in Athens are in danger. That's everything Pericles wanted. Thank you again. Time to return to Don't forget to come see me under less stressful mother. circumstances. I swear on my life and the lives I will take from others, I will not fail the cosmos again.
Commander put his sword away after the previous <laughs> Alexios, it's you! Phoebe! You promised we'd see each other again, and now we have! I also said stay out of trouble. Which I have! Okay, almost out of trouble. How did you even get here, Phoebe? Well, I did make some draft me working for Marcos. So you paid someone to bring you to Athens? Not exactly. Phoebe... I needed a draft me for when I arrived. I couldn't use it all to leave, and I didn't want to wait any longer. So I sneaked on a ship. Don't worry, nobody saw. I just can't believe you made it. I don't remember much of Athens from when I was a baby. But every once in a while, something feels familiar. It's nice. I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So, you somehow work here? For Pericles? No, for Aspasia. How is it you're working for Aspasia? Well, I did get into a little bit of trouble after I got to Athens. I may have been a leader of a small group of orphans that tried to cheat Aspasia. We didn't know it was her, though. And you convinced her to hire you? No. She asked me on her own. That was lucky. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry, I'll take care of them. You don't want to scare people in there. Well... I think I'm ready to go in. You can't! Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. I'll get changed. Promise you'll take care of my things. Yep. Leave your weapons in the corner, and I'll come back when you're done. I feel uncomfortable in this. Now you look like everyone else. You say that like it's a good thing. It is. If you want them to take you seriously, this is the easiest way. Trust me. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry. You've done scarier things than this. I'm struggling to think of any right now. Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. You just got here. You can't leave already. 
Thierry Alexios. The mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made his grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Hirototos. Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? They will if you get them to trust you. And you've wisely dressed for the occasion. Appearing trustworthy is the most important part of being trusted, after all. Now then, come, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it, but this group holds the way to the future on the tip of their opinionated tongues. Ah, Sophocles and Euripides, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, every PVs. <laughs> I've heard of Sophocles. In my line of work, it pays to know who the richest and most famous men are. Hermippos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Protagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. Inviting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Thrasymachos. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh. He never attends his own parties. Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his help with. Vile Socrates, always appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, Alcibiades, this is not a time for jealousy, but for love. Let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good and don't drink too much. So, tell me, what does a Mystios like you think of a party like this? This party could be fun. Alcibiades drinks like a Spartan. Maybe he fights like one too. If I could suggest anything, please don't start a fight or end one. Thank you, Herodotus. Now, if you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere, and I need to prepare him. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your sister said. Agreed. Pericles needs to know. I'll stay here and look for clues. I hope they know something about your mother. Me too. Look at you. 
Such sure. authority. Such aggression. I can see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? It sounded like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door wide, wide open for you. I only came to this symposium to find someone. Sounds like we can help each other then, doesn't it? You fetch us a bit of oil, I help you find who you're looking for. Maybe they're in here. She's not in there. I think I'll check all the same. After your display earlier, it's probably safer I get the oil. Obedient, too. I knew I liked you. Don't take too long. If you don't get the oil soon... Just can't stay away, can you? Did you bring the oil? I come bearing gifts. <gasps> We're saved! Today, these women grieved for their sons, and these men worked the wall. But tonight, we forget all of that. Let's have some fun! What do you say? Care to join us? Now it's time for you to help me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business right until the end. I like that. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? No one flees Sparta. But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd earn her independence. The smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. The Etera? I've heard they play some sort of role in Corinth, but I assumed it was the same as any other city. Oh, no. These women are unlike any other you'll meet. A force, and the only ones there with any smarts. Ali! Come back inside! Ooh, the celebration continues. When you reach Corinth, find Anfusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. Anthusa in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. I suppose you've come in here to mock me for my fight with Evripides. Spare me. I'm only looking for clues to help me find a Spartan woman. Mm, a Spartan woman in Athens? Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, you expect too much. You could talk to Evripides. He's the second most worldly man here. That ridiculous 
Xanthodontus exothalmic Morosov. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. No, you don't. So, we get him drunk and he talks. He sounds more Argiv than Athenian. Impressive, foreigner. Every Pidis is from Argos. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when every Pidis is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. You're awfully worked up over I'm never just anything, foreigner. Though I confess, every Pidis and I hold a bond deeper than brotherhood. Why he slams it with a banal young plaything, Aristophanes, I will never know. How do you know Pericles? I believe you mean to ask me, how does Pericles know you? I am the greatest dramatist in the land, mentor to every Pidis, lover of Asclepios, father of theater, and so on, and so on. I'm sure it's a real honor to have you hiding in his kitchen. I'll get the wine. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. Say for that arrogant playwright. I don't see many distinguished guests in here. Can I help you with something? I'm here for your sweet wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. A new face in Pericles' abode! Ha! That in itself is a remarkable thing. You must have seen me doing my impression of Cleon. I call it the Orange Ape. Tell me, what does it think? Did you just call me... It? Watch your mouth, Athenian. It speaks! And so feisty, too. Sometimes I wonder if I'm doomed to be the only young and beautiful thing here. So, what do they call you? Alexios. Hmm, I wouldn't peg you as an Alexios. But never mind. I'm Aristophanes, and this man is Evripides. Oh, go on. Introduce yourself. I'm Evripides. For a playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old Evripides likes to say. Don't you, Evripides? When I need to relax, I start to fight. For you, though. Yeah. Quickly! Bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. Yeah, After my well. argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. You and Aristophanes could both use a drink. Let's play a game. A competition? Ah, wonderful idea. Every pity seems quiet, but he never turns down a challenge. Well, if you brought us some wine, I wouldn't be opposed to showing this young one how we are gives drink. Let's conjure the Onisos, shall we? This, this is pure swill, amateur. In my day, this would be considered nectar of the gods. Another round! Ready for more? Yeah, I can hardly stomach this pig's piece. I could outdrink both of you with one hand. Let's have some more. You ready for another? This wine is terrible. You, I like you. <laughs> Who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. 
Every piece right or into a plague. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divine pity. I should know it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she would trust priests. Oh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. He's a physician, best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. I'll think about it. Hippocrates in Argos. Here I come. And so it isn't the rich and powerful, but the gods who are the source of justice? What? No! Have you been listening to nothing? How's every this? Drunk, I hope. You can stop hiding in here. Every Pedis won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? <laughs> Heed this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. Yes, you come and talk to it. Ah, if it isn't the one who agrees that knowledge is most important. I think we agreed our use of that knowledge couldn't be more different. Ah, you remember. Perhaps our conversation can continue. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued? You've been arguing a single point all night and no one has a black eye? You have my attention. We're discussing the nature of rules. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasymachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! I've seen enough of the world to know that there are no just rulers. Even Pericles is self-serving. Is a Spartan general who brings order to his troops, thereby saving his own life, self-serving? I'm not sure that's the case. Ruling a city and fighting in battle are different things. By practicing the art of war, doesn't the general guarantee some of his troops a ferry ride to Hades, when a swift retreat would save all their lives? You just said a general isn't self-serving when he brings order to his troops. Then you said he is self-serving because retreating would save the lives of his men. What are you trying to say? I never tried to say anything. But you just said those things. I said the words, but I didn't say anything at all. I only attempted to gain your view on the matter. You're wasting your time. Aspasia. I couldn't help but notice your talent for debate. Well done. Socrates is an interesting character. Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him, and Alexios can help. Everyone listens when he talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Alexios will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. I did what I had to, and I'd do it again. 
I make no apologies. We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. These may be the nicest clothes I've ever worn, but I feel a bit uncomfortable, to be honest. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now and do it discreetly. I'm searching for a woman who fled Sparta with her child years ago. I was hoping you might help. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guests. Perhaps later. First, explain to me... Of course, I only use the terms war or god or civility in the context of what can be observed. So I can observe soldiers fighting, but does that bring me any closer to understanding war? I haven't seen you around before, citizen. Perhaps you'd like to spare me conversing with this man of nonsense? Sure, we can talk. What about? Before Protagoras changed the subject, we were talking about the next great leader of Athens, Cleon. I'll change the subject again. I'm looking Spartan. Hopefully she's dead in the gutter. I wonder if you found the woman, even if you saw her with your own eyes, would you believe her existence to be true? This is getting nowhere. Forget it. If you don't want to discuss that, then what? If you're an ally of Cleon, why would Pericles invite you? You're not from Athens, outsider. Here, we keep our enemies closest of all. This has been useless, Here. Just got here. You can't leave already. Alexios, I didn't send for you. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. Aspasia told me to come find you. She wants you to come down to the party. Uh, she says I don't interact with our guests enough. But these parties aren't for me. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Erodos and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? 
When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave from. these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> Phidias was awaiting trial, but you had me get him out of Athens. I figured you, of all people, would want to follow the law. Phidias is a very dear friend. I didn't want to risk him being found guilty. And, of course, there were other threats. So you knew? I know he's delusional, but... One day, when you have a friend you'd do anything for, you'll understand. I don't understand why you had Anaxagoras ostracized. Socrates said he was your friend. I won't risk the lives of those close to me if there's something I can do about it. So you did this to protect him? Anaxagoras understood my fears. Ten years may be a long time, but at least he'll be safe. Why send Metiochos to the fishing district if it's dangerous? I would never have sent him into danger willingly. It seems you have many loyal friends. My people are important to me. Your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Herodotus was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future. The Spartans aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming, and they're bringing their strongest weapon. Listen to him, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. I'm related to one of the cult members. And I believe her when she says they're coming after you. Sound counsel to consider. I'll be sure to let my men know, regardless. Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. However I can during your travels. You look tired. Only of conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need a weapon after all. Are you leaving? I've had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You get used to it. It's nice. What are you going to do now? There's a woman on the island of Chaos that I need to meet. I think I'll head there first. I've heard there are pirates there. I'll be sure to be careful. Good. Before you go, I heard something from Aspasia about Kefalonia. What is it? She said there was some sort of plague. You don't think... My friend, the blood fever. Don't think like that. Whatever happened on Kefalonia isn't our fault. I'll go myself and find out if this plague even happened. Okay? Okay. Thanks. I knew I could count on you. Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Bye, Alexios!
Of course, this dude has a bed. Your death will Keep a sharp watch here. Ah! Oh. 
Eso no es en mí. On high alert here.
he sniped me. What the hell? Oh, this level 29 mercenary is such a pain. Such a pain. Vigilant here. No, I just have a stupid idea. Talking in so they work on others, Socrates, but not on me. I should check that. Ah! Uh. 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 Uh.
Adios. I knew you'd change your mind after tearing me down. Unfortunately, love must wait a little longer. Whatever you say. I hate to cut our conversation short, Socrates, but I believe you've talked enough for the both of us. We must find another use for that mouth of yours. Speak to him long enough, and you may find the smallest hint of knowledge veiled deep behind his uh, enthusiastic advances. <laughs> A compliment and an insult in the same sentence. He truly is gifted. You've arrived at the perfect time. I have a friend named Sophanes who wants to become an Athenian citizen, but he needs a bit of help. Your help. I can't wait to hear why it's my help he needs. Any Mystios would do, really, but you're my favorite. All you need to do is sign my friend's name on a little list. There has to be a reason Sophanes can't sign the list himself. Well, he would, but he isn't nearly as... Uh, able as you are. Meaning... Meaning you have skills he doesn't possess. He'd fail if he tried on his own. Why Athens? Surely he's a citizen somewhere else already. Everyone wants to be an Athenian citizen, even if they don't say so. Sophanes has a mind for politics, but can only participate as a citizen. I didn't realize you had the list of mercenaries you favor. And I'm at the top? Of course you are. Although, if you ask nicely, I would happily let you be on the bottom. This sounds simple. Now tell me why it isn't. There's this small matter that you'll have to enter the Metroon, where you're not allowed, and forge his name well enough, of course. So he's trying to become a citizen illegally. You should have led with that. I'll try to remember that the next time. The building you're looking for is near the Agora. Be safe. I should be extra careful in this area. Time to get back to Archibialis. Yeah! 
ready for you. Cosmos fights for Athens, and so Athens fights for Cosmos. My favorite Mystios returns. Sophanes' name is on the list, but it came at a price. I see. Well, sometimes blood must be shed. You were the right Mystios for the job. Now that you forged my friend's name on the citizen's list, there's one more thing that needs to be done. If you told me this needed to be done before, I could have taken care of it already. Maybe, but this way I get to see you more often. Just tell me what you need. Unfortunately, getting Sofani's name on the list doesn't make him a citizen. He also needs a witness who can validate his citizenship. So you want me to be the witness? If only it were that easy. No, there's someone I have in mind. An extremely handsome man by the name of Peros. I'll find your handsome witness. Perfect! I knew you'd be willing to help. Time to find Peros. He's often around the Justice Building on the east side of the Agora. And I just ask him to help? Peros needs to say that the parents of Sophanes were both Athenian. How you get him to do it is up to you. Best stay out of sight.
That's the guy Alkibiadis called handsome? You tell Vion I'm not giving him any more. If you want... I'm not here about debts. Well, uh, what do you want then? There's something I need your help with. Well, that someone sent you tells me it's... You just need to validate a man's citizenship. Alkib... Ah, Alkibiadis. And who is this man I meant to... His name is Sofan. Sofanis. I know the... I don't know him. A true Mystios never get all the information up front. Sofanis betrayed his men for Drachmi. He deserves death, not citizenship. Ah, look, it isn't your fault. You didn't know, but now you do. Sounds like Dion may be sending some... Ah, uh, fine. I'll do what you want. Socrates too, it seems. Much like you, he just can't seem to stay away. I hope there were no issues. Yes, he just needed a little push. Ah, I was worried about that. Well, you did the right thing. You kept information from me. Information that would have been nice to know. I believe people like Sofanis deserve second chances. I didn't think what he did mattered to you. Next time, let me decide what matters to me. Understood. I should give Sofanis the news. Do not bad citizens do harm to their neighbors and good citizens good? Is it possible to tell if someone will be good or bad without first giving them a chance? A person isn't the same forever. Someone bad can become good. But is the inverse not also true? Someone considered good can then become bad? How can we predict someone's actions now, let alone in the future? We can't. One thing I've learned is people are unpredictable. It's what makes my job so hard sometimes. If what you say is true, we can either hope we are right and that people will be good, or limit the risk by not giving people like Sofanis a chance. I wonder, then, if bad actions can reverse good, or good actions can reverse bad. Perhaps we can speak on that another time. Thank the gods. Better stay hidden.
This is definitely the work of... That's a nice horse, Socrates. It's a very nice horse. A sturdy horse. It's also a stolen horse. Socrates the horse thief. I can almost hear the stories they will tell. Aristophanes will love these. Unfortunately, those stories would be entirely fabricated. Although, I would like to see if you believe the story should still be told once you know the truth. What story is that? There is a man nearby who is responsible for stealing the horse. I've been contemplating the proper course of action, but I'd like to know what you think is right. And how should I make my decision? 
Your thoughts are your own, but speaking to the thief himself may help you decide. Can such a crime be justified? It's an interesting thought. Where is the thief now? I told him to wait by the stable southwest of here. If you caught him stealing a horse, what's to say he won't just run away? The hope of keeping the horse. That's where you come in. I'll let him tell you the rest. They won't ask any questions. Best keep out of sight.
stole the horse? Socrates said I should talk to you. Bad enough being caught, but to have a Mystheus judge me... Better than an Athenian guard. Anything to say? The man I stole it from won't even miss it. He has plenty of others, while my only horse died last week. If I had a drachmi to buy a new one, I would have. Did you steal the horse to use it or sell it? I have a family to feed, and this horse will help me on the farm. Plus, I have no other way of traveling right now. There is no other option? Not that I could think of. Trust me, I feel shame for what I did. Any reason you pick this specific horse? It was the easiest one to take. Other than that, not really. Though, I did make sure it wasn't his best horse. A courteous thief. I didn't steal it for fun. I did it because I had no other choice. I have enough information to... I hope you can understand. Wouldn't you do the same if it was your family? I should be careful. High security here.
Have you decided what should be done? If he needs the horse more than the man he stole it from, let him keep it. It will do him more good. So, determining whether a crime deserves a consequence or reward is dependent on the reasons behind it? An intriguing thought, although I can see how dangerous such thinking might be. The real question is whether my decision matters at all, or if this was just another test to see what I would do. There is a good chance it is both, but an equally good chance it is neither. Now you're not making sense on purpose. Let me ask you one more thing. If one man kills another in order to save many, can his actions be considered just? Or should the man be punished? If the action was for a good reason, then he is in the right. So, in times like these, people like us get to determine the law. Many would believe a murder still deserves consequence. The people whose lives were saved would disagree. Then perhaps making choices that affect the most people for good is the correct path. Wouldn't you agree? Are we done yet? I can't stay here all day. Of course you can't. It's a luxury few can afford. Even those with the time for it often lack the mental capacity for such things. Okay. Person there is from murder to get you. A good few.
I don't want to be spotted here.
Something's in the way. I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight. Those 
I should try to stay out of sight. Nothing changes. Something goes wrong every time I'm on the wall. You are dead! You can't run for me! Oh, my God. 
You found yourself on the wrong side. Let the mercenaries go. Yeah. LFCs? What great mysteries do you hide from us? Hey. I need to stay I'm... hidden. What was that? Hey, you! Ah. Oh, yeah. 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 I think I need a bigger boat. I don't think I should brave that water in this boat. Uh. 
There'll be trouble if I'm spotted. Some tier six over there.
got to be careful not to get spotted. I'm sorry, of course. Uh, I'm going to go to the next episode.
Welcome, Istias. What's a little girl doing in a clay pit? Oh, Mistios. Hi, Mistios. I'm just preparing something for my friends. I've been here all day, but I still need more clay. I need enough for all of them. What you're doing for your friends is very nice. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Really? You think so? I was thinking of getting them some other things, though. You're a generous friend. What do you want to give them? I want to give them some nice jewelry. <laughs> you mean jewelry? That's what I said. You don't look like you can afford any, honestly. I know. That's why I was going to get some shiny stones in the abandoned mines and a few pearls from the lagoon. But I've been stuck here all day with the clay and the abandoned mines are kind of scary. Do you think you could help me get some gifts for my friends? It makes them happy, and that'll make me happy. I'll make some gooey for you, too, for helping me. Gladly, young lady. I'll see to it you get the best pearls and shiny stones. And I wouldn't mind some gooey myself. Yay! Thank you. You're really nice for a big, scary-looking person. Okay, that's all. I should be done here soon. Mm. That's the lagoon with the pearls. Ah, the mines. That's where the shiny stones are. <clears throat> this is the lagoon the little girl meant.
That's enough pearls. Abandoned mines with the shiny stones. and the shiny stones. I should return to the little girl. Little girl and her friends. She got here sooner than I thought she would. anyone else here but us <laughs> what silly mistios can't you see them they're right over there the one on the left is Theo, and the one on the right is erla your friends they're made of clay how can they be your friends what do you mean they're my friends i made them i know you made them but that the... mother told me to make friends mistios and i did this isn't the way to make friends Tell your mother that... I can't! She's dead, Mistios. Mother is dead. She joined the pirates. Told me she'll bring back so much drachmi. We could swim in it. But one day, she came back, Mistios. Her favorite white robe was all red. And she told me to take care of myself and make more friends. But... I've never had any friends. I didn't know what she meant. So I thought really, really hard and made my friends out of clay. Did I make a mistake? Mother won't be upset at me, right? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. 
Yeah, might as well. You can't do this anymore. W what are you doing? Those are for my friends. They are not your friends. They are lumps of clay. <laughs> You need to make real friends. Go into the towns. Find children your age. You cannot live out here alone. But all the town folk told me to stay away. They say I'm a cursed girl. Then go somewhere else. Find other people. There are still good people left. You just don't get it. You're not me. You don't understand. Go away! I should check in on her later. I'll see you all at the selection ceremony, ladies. I especially hope you show up. Let me guess. He's rich. That's Etios, the scion of the most influential family in chaos. And his wife choosing ceremony is tomorrow. <sighs> we need Eros' blessings to be picked. You hope to marry into riches? No! My feelings are for Etios, not his wealth. Even if your feelings for him are real, they get stronger with Rakmi. No! I really am in love with him. You better start praying like the rest of them. Huh? No, I have to stand out. If I do what everyone else is doing, I'll never be picked by Eros or Etios. I need to do something. Anything. Anything. Yes! Anything! <laughs> Eros? Please, his ears are stuffed full with the prattling of these women. Let me help. I am a witch of Ekati, goddess of witchcraft and magic. I know just the thing. A love potion. Ridiculous. Love potions are a myth. I'll buy it from you, please. Sell it to me, and don't let the others hear you. I don't need your drachmi. I spread the word of Egati freely, but a love potion is tailored to the imbiber. I have to make one just for you. And once you've drained every last drop of it down your pretty throat, you will exude pure, irresistible beauty. Aetios will fall in love with you instantly. First, we'll need two things. A cask of the finest wine, and some wild mushrooms. Uh, but 
Where can I find that at such short notice? I'm sure the Mistios could procure these items for you. Please, Mistios. Please, you've got to help me. In the name of love and a lot of Rahmi. Well, I'll give you all I've got. If Ethios picks me, I'll be sure to give you even more. Uh, fine. I'll get the ingredients for your love potion. That's all. Excellent. Meet us at the temple on the hilltop when you're done. It's the warehouse. The wild mushrooms will be in there somewhere. Better get looking for those mushrooms. I heard they can be. These should do fine, though they don't look safe to eat. Hip! 
That's the shipwreck with the wine. Hope the pirates haven't gotten here yet. I should go to the girl and the witch at the temple. Here's everything you asked for. <gasps> Thank you, Mistios. Now I just need a more personal artifact. The last ingredient. I've come this far. I'll see it through. What else do you need, witch? No, no. What I need, the girl can provide. I'll give you whatever you need to be with Etios. We'll just need a little snip of your beautiful locks. Your part in this is done, Mistios. Come to the selection ceremony at Aetios' house to witness the fruits of your labor. It's the one overlooking the sea. You've got to come! Once Aetios picks me, I'll make sure to pay you your due. I hope he has deep pockets. His love didn't come cheap. Come. There's much left to do. See you at the ceremony, Mistios.
Attention. You said a little bit of her hair. Explain this. <laughs> Explain? It's clear, beautiful, gullible, idiot girl falls prey to her competition. She set me up! Ethios picked her instead! He, he didn't even take a second look at me. I was promised Rakmi. Just give it to me. I didn't sign up for any of this drama. Technically, the girl asked you for the items, not me. She's making fools of us both! Kill her, Mistyos! You're crazy. You'll pay for this. She played the game and she lost. There's nothing to pay for. You believe she's innocent in all this? She tried to get ahead with magic, so spare me the hypocrisy. Just leave and take your bald friend with you. Please, Mistyos, do something! You make a fair point. What? How could you say that? She's a liar! And that's it! The witch is crazy, but she did what you tried to do. Anything and everything to be with the one she loves. I can't fault her. How could you say that after what she did to me? Know when you are beat. Go home. Well, pay me, then go home. See? The Mistyos gets it. Come, my Dios, my dear. Let us leave these peasants to their theatrics. We have a wedding to plan. for you on the board. Came from the Vilos Islands. One of the cultists is there, Alexios. His name is Podarkis. You reading my messages, Varnavas? I may have taken a peek. Let's set sail! Mander!
So now they have people watch us get punished. That's a different kind of shame. I'm not here to watch. I just saw you by chance. What you saw was a man who paid his master for freedom, but is being kept a slave. You can do that. My master gave me a price for my freedom, and I saved until I had enough. Now that I've given him the drachmi, he pretends as if the deal never existed. That isn't right. Let me talk to him for you. Really? You do that? My name is Phaedon. I don't know who you are, but surely you were sent by the gods. They must have heard my prayers. If you're waiting on help from the gods, I can leave. No, please don't. Someone or something brought you here to me. Yes, my legs did. Gods or not, I'm grateful. My master should be near the silver mine. He's likely overseeing other slaves like myself. I'll talk to your master and make sure he listens. He's not really the listening type. He will be with me. You look strong. I could always use more people to keep the slaves in line if you're looking for work. I'm already working. I'm here about one of your slaves. Fedon. As if I know their names. You're wasting my time. I shouldn't even need to be here. You're the one wasting my time. Ha! <laughs> Nobody has spoken to me like that in quite a while. Spit it out while you're still entertaining. Fedon paid you for his freedom. Give it to him. Hmm. Doesn't sound familiar. But I'm feeling generous. Do something for me, and I'll give this Phaedon his freedom. What is it? There's a woman I'd like you to kill. It'll leave her family to fend for themselves. But the cult of Cosmos needs it done. You're a member of the cult? If that's true, then you know who I am. You're smarter than they make you out to be, Eagle Bearer. Tell me why I shouldn't just kill you now. You could. Of course, if I'm killed, the slave stays that way. And I'm the only one who knows where his papers are. Why does this woman need to die? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you needed to know. I'll be on my way. Kill the woman or not, it's your choice. One person's freedom is another's demise. Alexios, what chance that we should meet here? It doesn't really feel like chance. Ah, so you wish for today's topic to be about fate? No, not really. Good, because I had another in mind. Attica is large, yet fate keeps bringing us together. Ah, you're trying to bring us back to fate once again. I won't let you avoid answering my questions, though. So how much did you overhear? Oh, all of it. You have a difficult choice to make, clearly. How much is the freedom of one person worth? Do you believe one life is worth more than another? There's no difference between one person and another. We all take our first breath the same way. But are the breaths you take equal to my own? Would you not say the breath of Pericles is put to better use than that of someone in prison? It doesn't matter which two people you compare. The answer is the same. 
So, a thief is equal to a priest, a politician to a child. An interesting view. I think I've said enough. Ah, you're, you're right. I know you are busy and your mind is weary. That does sound like me. Go now. It's been an honor having these conversations with you. You too, Socrates. What is it? I'm not going to kill someone so you'll free Fedon when he should have been already. Fine. I'll find someone else to kill her, and Fedon will remain my slave. I'll be sure he receives a grand reward for wasting so much of my time. You deserve worse.
Slavery is natural. It is necessary.
Ooh. So see you guys.